who loves I'm going to be a father. He is a few months long now. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us. Today it is episode 6 of season 1. Kin, um, as you can tell, different setup, everything is different. This is in fact my room back home. Um, so apologies for the difference in background. Um, I am ha very happy to be back home. It has been super amazing to sort of have that, you know, comfort of being in a very in a very memorable place as a lot has happened in this room and i really love it and i i'm very proud from when i was here last two years ago i was i think watching mandalorian and vampire diaries and a lot has changed since then and yeah so this room has like been like a starter for everything so I am very happy to be back home. So for those of you who don't know, I'm back home in Dubai. So I am also very excited that I'm going to be here for quite some time until I think the first week of April. So that's quite a, a long, no, it's not really a break. I'm, I'll be working for uh, my daytime job as well from here. But it's good to know that I have the comfort of working from here while I also have my permanent job so it's so nice to have that flexibility but anyways drifting off I am super excited to start this episode as you know okay I am gonna keep it because I don't know why I'm sort of like a little whispery this room is like echoing so if I get excited I think it will alert every single floor so I'm gonna try and minimize the volume of my excitement I'm not gonna minimize the excitement not at all but minimize the volume so um i just wanted to let you know that but for some reason it's so quiet and it's so like i can hear everything vibrating when i speak so that's the reason why i am um i'm just a little like that but anyways king here we go i well again spoiler warning um for those who are not aware I make game references and it'll be pertaining to this episode. So if you want to watch the episode based on just a spoiler free reaction, know that this is not going to be it. So please, by all means, jump off and come back whenever you can. And if you are interested, I will definitely be making game references because I'm a huge fan of the games. And I am very excited to see what this episode is about and knowing what happens post game gameplay with regards to what we saw in episode five the ending scenes i know what happens um i don't know how fast we're going to get to that stage but we are definitely going to find someone that we know and of course i don't want to spoil it now but once we see what's happening i will definitely make references pertaining to the episode relating to the game so here we go, episode 6 of season 1, King. I'm so excited. And uh, let's not wait any further. Let's get right to um, Joel and Ellie. I mean, thanks for letting me relive that. Great, great. Yes. Oh, the rabbit. Oh, the rabbit. I didn't even see the rabbit. The white rabbit. Whoa. Who the hell are you? Joel. There's someone passing through. Take the gun out, two fingers only, put it out of reach. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. <laughs> Thanks, Liddy. <laughs> well, I ain't seen him. I haven't told you what he looks like. He look anything like you? A bit. But I ain't seen him. He's got a girl with him. Can I come down? No. <laughs> I just oh, looked at the mirror. <laughs> what did you just say? I need you to tell us where we are. You got a map. Why are you lost? You must have missed all the street signs in the enormous fucking forest. Holy. <laughs> We're somewhere here. Exactly where. And your answer better be the same as your wife's. Oh. 
Do you tell them the truth? This lady is vibes. I love her. This is this is Joel's way of getting to know the locations. But very moderate. Really nothing happening actually. Anywhere people used to be, you can't go there no more. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. Not get the those. bugs, the people. <laughs> the firefly people? <laughs> You never go past the river here. What's past the river? Death. We never seen who's out there, but we see the bodies they leave behind. Some infected, some not. If your brother's west of the river, he's gone. Oh my God. I don't want to spoil what I know what You're they mean. Scare us. Scared him. <laughs> Joel! Joel, are you okay? Joel? Shut up. You should have died. Okay. Okay, okay. No, 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 but are you? Because just to remind you, if you're dead, I'm fucked. Shut up, fine. Cold air. Oh, that's funny. No, no. Something's up, man. All right, uh. So let's go and find Tommy and the fireflies. Is he having chest pains? It's gonna be easy. Panic attack? All you have to do is cross the river of death. Music. Oh my god. Play it. There's some caves along the river. We'll set up camp there, cross in the morning. Good. I'm starving. Should have stolen two rabbits. We can get our own rabbits. Are you gonna teach me how? <laughs> Just keep moving. Ellie does hunt for a rabbit in winter in the game. Oh. Do you know how hard those are to come by in the game? Oh, that is gorgeous. Can I have some? No. What, just to warm up? Come on. <laughs> You're joking. I mean. <laughs> yeah. So gross. Still gr <coughs> Does, Do you know what that means? That dialogue means she's had that before. Let's say we find the fireflies, it all works. They draw my blood and put it through some of their fancy machines and make a cure. Okay. Then what? Like, what do we do? Well, it's a we. Okay, fine, whatever. Are you? An old farmhouse, some land, a ranch. Cool. What kind? Sheep. <laughs> I would raise sheep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, Last of Us. So, They're bringing in things from the second game. and I mean, it's not really a spoiler. It's just something that they speak about, like future. I read everything I could in the school library. Like Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Jim Lovell. Yeah. You know who my favorite is? Who? Sally Ride. Sally fucking Ride. <laughs> Best astronaut name ever. Ellie loves astronauts. Space. Her dream is to be up there one day. It'll work, right? The vaccine. Oh my god. It's not too late to start wondering. I tried with Sam. Tried what? I knew he was infected. No way to save him. My name, she's a lot of things, but she's no fool. If she says they can do it, they can do it. Oh, this dialogue, this dialogue, this dialogue, this dialogue. Dream of astronauts sheep ranches on the moon <laughs> hello i'm responsible for you okay mm -hmm. then don't fall asleep and i kept watch like you taught me to what can i say man i'm a natural wow. best good job that's his way up next time <laughs> yes sir yes sir <laughs> that's his way of saying good job kid well done. This film, the this was location was in Calgary, right? Yeah. Like, wow, that is like picturesque. What is that? I don't know how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle? Does it sound like I know how to whistle? No. She does this in the game, and I ask this how as well. How do you do that? How do you? Yeah. Why is that? Why is that noise? You should teach me how to hunt. Can I handle the shooting? 
Not so sure about the dressing. What's the dressing? The part where you take the guts out. Oh, yeah. Why do they call it dressing? It's like, you should call it undressing. And it is, it's like... I love that they're placing in hints and like little dialogue from the game where she's trying to whistle. She does that in the game Damn. as well. Damn. <laughs> no fun. So no Will Livingston. Yeah, yeah, but who is? <laughs> so that made electricity? Yeah. Don't ask me, I don't have a clue. Oh. oh shit! Where did they all come from? We ain't looking for any trouble. We're just passing through. Drop the gun. This is who I think it is. You've been near infected. There's no infected out here. The hell, they're right. No, 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 no! Not the dog. Last chance for a bullet. Like I said, we'll just move on. Now her. Oh, God. No, no, no. Doggy. What is happening? Joel, what is that? Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. He's having pee. <laughs> Oh my god, it's about his daughter. I'm just looking for my brother. It's all, nothing more. Huh. What's her name? Joel. Joel. In the game, there is a dog. Okay, I can't remember the dog's name. I'm so sorry. But there is a dog. And there is a settlement. Oh my god, it is so accurate. I, I wish I could be as loud as I can to express my love for <laughs> this. Oh. This is the last of us too. around here don't usually look or talk like you right well maybe i'll teach them i think maybe y'all got a little off on the wrong foot she's gonna have her guys kill us well, we got to be real careful about who we let in this place but it's all bark we're just trying to scare off those who might want to try us is all well you got a couple of 90 year olds shitting themselves out there <clears throat> would it be nice to have a moment here maybe just for family well uh maria is family. i didn't even realize that was maria oh shit congrats John, say congrats. Say congrats. And you said infected? Yeah, but usually smaller colonies. Wandered off from the cities. All this open country out here? It's a turkey shoot. Still got my 700, but I found a variable power scope. Sub MOA. You teach me how? No, we can't. Yes, he will. <laughs> Don't you will. Don't listen to Joel. Carefully. Being in the middle of nowhere helps. Not advertising what we have. Saying off the radio. House of worship. Multi faith. School. Laundry. Oh, Ben works in the jail, that. not that we need it. You draw power from a dam. Hey, Joe, check it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like in charge? No one person's in charge. I'm on the council, democratically the, elected. The greenhouse. So 300 people, including children. Everything you see in our town, greenhouses, livestock, all shared. Collective ownership. So, uh... Communism. 
<laughs> nah, nah, I didn't like that. It is that, literally. You want to pet her? Yeah, what's your name? Shimmer. Shimmer. So beautiful. Well, I'm sure they like a shower, some new clothes. You can put them in the empty house across the street from us. Yeah, it's a decent place. Well, I'll take Ellie over there if you two want to catch up. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, okay. This is blowing my mind. Doesn't seem like you age much. You, on the other hand. Unreal. Thanks for still giving a shit about me. You're most welcome, Tommy. You are our bar brother. So how's Tess? Mm -hmm. Touchy topic. She's fine. Are you serious? All right. Good then. And the kid? She's the daughter of some firefly muckety muck. Trying to find her family somewhere out here. So you know where they might be, these fireflies? You know, they got a base down at the University of Eastern Colorado. It's a, a week's ride south. It is severely fucked up between here and there. <laughs> I can't go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I made it across the country. The two of us can make it from here to Colorado. He's got a family. Is that why you stopped messaging me back? After I ditched the fireflies, Marie and her crew found me. They're good people. They're very protective of this place. Joe, those I'm gonna... things I did, Tommy, those things that you judged me for, I did those things to keep us alive. We did those things. They weren't things. We murdered people. And I don't judge you for it. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months. I'm gonna be a father. It is a few months long now. So I just gotta be more careful. I feel like I'd be a good dad. Tommy, congrats. You deserve it. I guess we'll find out. That's all you got? What else am I supposed to say? Congratulations. And celebrations. Just because life stopped for you, doesn't mean it has to stop for me. Dialogue. Go grab some supplies and be out of your hair in the morning. Ooh, damn. Don't let the door slam you in your way out, babes. Ooh, the kids. <gasps> made it worse. Oh, how I wish I can scream my life out right now. Oh, nice. It's uh, super fucking purple. Eggplant. Fits. Eggplant. Yeah. Shoes aren't too big? Uh, no. Where's my other stuff? Right pile. Did you get the thing I left you? Yeah. Yeah. Weirdest gift ever. <laughs> I was an assistant district attorney out of Omaha, Nebraska. I put bad guys in jail. Nice. Oh, cool. I we guess. don't know Maria's story. I always like doing hair, though. Maybe it was a mom thing. Um, I'm sorry about your kids. It's okay. I'm kid. Just Kevin. Okay. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Right. Okay. That way. <gasps> Maria. I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's okay. You never knew, darling. I guess that explains him a little. He stopped killing people. Innocent ones. Wow. And Tommy did it too. Are you worried about him? That point. Tommy was following Joel. Still. Where you are now. Well, maybe I'm smarter than Tommy. No offense. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. There won't be many people left you in understand? the world to trust them. Mm -hmm. Now, come on. Grab your super fucking eggplant coat. <laughs> Where are we going? The movies. This is, I mean, Ezekiel. You oh, better you come here, babes. Ezekiel. Yeah? Well, your mother knows. I love that Ellie's oh. character is so like, this is too normal. I'm just like very so. out of place because we've got a bigger thing to do. Everyone seems so normal. I don't suppose there's a cobbler sitting around somewhere. Well, there you go, new shoes. I said I might find you here. I know you're happy for me. It's just it's complicated for you. I'm sorry. I said, let me off the hook or what? This ride to the university, is it a suicide mission? No. She's immune. What? Really? She got infected, but she didn't get sick. Tommy, I saw her get bit myself. That was months ago. Months. She's immune. It was Marlene. She hired us to smuggle her to some fireflies. It went bad. 
Tesco bit. My block is over here. She Sorry. knows where to take the kid. We made it as far as KC, and then, you know, she saved my life there. But she had to shoot him to save me. 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him coming. I saw a man kill his own brother to save her while I just watched. Oh, Joel. I was so afraid. <laughs> Joel, don't cry. Joel, don't cry. Joel. You think I can still handle things, but I'm not who I was. I'm weak. You are not weak. Maybe there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere. And fear. My heart feels like it stopped. I just know that when I wake up, I've lost something. I'm failing in my sleep. It's all I do. It's all I've ever done. It's failing. Again and again. You want me to take her? I'm just going to get her killed. I know it. I know it. It's so, your tits. I mean, it's what you took off on me, right? Well, here's your chance to bring your kid into a better world. You're younger than me. You're still strong. You said it yourself. You'll come back. You have to take her. Tom, you're the only one I trust. If anyone else sees those bites on her, what's under her skin, they'll shoot her. It's the last thing I'll ever ask. Oh, this is a different Joel. <laughs> this is a different Joel. I would take her out of dawn. I just cannot get over the set design. We got you in 38. It's left, left. Right. Don't show me your house, Joel. Don't don't show me Joel's house, please. I will actually lose my mind. Hello. Oh, he's not telling. She's no. She's not stupid. She knows. Is this really all you had to worry about? <gasps> Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. It's bizarre. I came here to talk to you. No way, you're still here. You're gonna ditch me, ditch me. You know, I stood up for you today because I thought... I made this decision for your own good. You'd be way better off with Tommy. He knows the area better than I do. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? I'm not her, you know. Ooh. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. Oh, don't say it, Joel. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. No, come down. We're going our separate ways. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this haunts more weirdly. idea what loss is everyone i have cared for has either died or left me everyone fucking except for you so don't tell me that i'll be safer with someone else because the truth is i'll just be more scared got it <laughs> Are you going to use Shimmer right now? I call him Callus the Shimmery Horse because from the gate. I came here to steal one of these horses and go. Oh, well, you gave me one. I know. That was 30 minutes ago, and I guess you deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that was quick. Place for you here, both of you. Kind of not. Can I borrow that? Yeah, because Maria took mine. You know, I already said yes, Joel. So. <laughs> <laughs>
Adios, big brother. <laughs> Is that callous? Is that callous? Is that callous? <laughs> You're flinching. The target's too small. I made it bigger than I should have. Eject the cartridge. Yeah. I'm not flinching. Mm -hmm. Rifle just sucks. Okay. Relax. Yeah. Nice and slow. You gotta shoot this thing or get it pregnant. <laughs> it isn't gonna work. It doesn't aim right. Holy shit. You dick. <laughs> Back then, there were basically two main ways of looking at things. Some people wanted to own everything, mm -hmm. and some people didn't want anyone to own anything at all. Which one were you? We were called contractors. The contractor. <laughs> we were cool. Yeah, indeed. You really were... loved contractors. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at her leaning her face on his back. But. If you make it to 10 yards, then you're back to first now? Yep. Yep. Football, so, okay. Basically just moving in one direction. Yes. Basically. I'll never get the American violent. football, but fine. Oh, okay. The I-25. Five days. Easy days. I don't know what Tommy is so afraid of. No, don't say that. Still time to find out. Still time to find out. <laughs> <laughs> University. Oh, the big horns. What does that mean? King mascot. It's kind of sheep. Let's see. Let's step closer to your dream. <laughs> oh my god, I just cannot. This is exactly the game. People would live here and like, what, go to classes and stuff? Yup. Even though they were adults. Sort of adults. I think it was just as much about partying and finding themselves as anything else. Figuring out what they wanted to do with their lives. I don't want a sheep ranch, actually. I mean, if the deal is I can do anything. That's the deal. Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. Shut up. Why is that funny? I'm not gonna laugh. You're already laughing. No, okay, oh. Jim. Please. Well, you're singing for me later. I'm gonna save the fucking world, man. That's the least you can do for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I love it. Are those monkeys I hear? Are those monkeys? Yes. Must be from the old labs. Uh, look at this go. First time seeing a monkey. First time seeing a monkey. Glass building. Fireflies. The science building. Oh dear. Guard stations. Hmm. No guards. Uh. Yeah. Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, Callus. Never mind. Come with us, Callus. Oh, never mind. Stay, Callus. <laughs> oh. I. Unreal. Unreal. It's too real. It's giving me goosebumps. There's a packing list. Something to make before moving. They just left. Maybe not everyone. Maybe not all of them. Kill for mankind over here. Is anyone there? <laughs> so lucky, right? Maybe now that research they turned into fucking monkeys. Yes! I was literally waiting for her to say that line. Oh, you're heading to Salt Lake City? That's where they went. All the pins lead there. Then we get in ahead of the weather. Better facilities. I don't know. Same. Oh my god. Hair, seriously, you best not come in my view. Raiders. Out the back.
stupid man. I didn't think it was happening so quickly. No! Yes, good, 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 yes. Oh my god, it's happened. I didn't actually expect it to happen so quickly. I think we're safe. Oh fuck, Joe. He's gonna go. Joe, no, 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 shit. Oh my god. Joe? Joe? We can't fucking do this without you. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Joe? Spoiler bloody alert, that's for sure. Spoiler bloody alert. Are you all off? Those who don't want to hear what I have to say about the game? Off? Good. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Can I just explain how beautifully accurate that was? That was absolutely spot on with everything from dialogue the set design in Jackson with the items of basically taking from part two i well there is nothing more there is nothing more how do you say satisfying for a gamer than to see things that is so so dear to at least my heart being shown in a real in this uh, in this episode with regards to how the lights are in jackson the townhouse, the bar, the settlement itself, the number of horses, the door, the location. I mean, it's it's insane. I, this is not really a spoiler. This is how Jackson is, and we see the en the entirety of Jackson in the in part two of the game. So this is something which is exactly from there. And the fact that they showed us the horse Shimmer. I mean, come on. Shimmer is the horse that Ellie has in part two. Again, not really a spoiler because they're freaking taking part two items in this game and in, in this episode. And in my playthroughs, don't forget to check that out. I call Ellie's horse in part two. We know it's Shimmer, but I call it. I call him Callus the Shimmery Horse. I, I quite, I'm quite fond of my very trademark name there. <laughs> Callus the Shimmery Horse. So there you go. Because why Callus? Most of you might know. Because in the game, Joel and Ellie, the horse that they are riding now, is named Callus. And Joel hates that name. And we, we kind of like see more dialogue between them regarding that but that's why i say i call ellie's horse in part two as callous the shimmery horse there you go the reason behind why that's the name for me um i just loved it i i mean the accuracy of tommy being in the settlement of maria of finding out about maria having a kid before kevin and then Sarah and oh damn that was that was touching and then her telling Ellie about Maria uh, Maria about uh, Sarah mm -mm -mm. because the confrontation that they have in the room it's really it's a mixture of everything that happens in the scene and a lot of gameplay naturally so in the game for this scene Ellie um the, the the settlement per se the settlement looks very different when we meet them in the game it's almost like a you know a very uh it's not really a homely feel but at least they've made it their home and it's it's more or less like a dam like where they have all these construction parts and you know all that going on 
and it gets raided by raiders and then from there uh we see maria uh you know with ellie and then joel with tommy and then tommy hands in a picture of himself and uh sarah when he went back to boston and then joel doesn't want that because he's kept that beside like a, that's the past almost and then you see him going straight into um straight to you know like explaining who ellie is and why she's so important what he wants tommy to do that exactly like but it's a very different take in the episode because here you almost see joel is in desperate need because he cares about her but at the same time he knows he's not fit because he is absolutely losing his his uh hearing he's having these fear of like, like you know a fear of anything happening to her which is definitely what we see like you know him not being able to take care of her and then history repeating itself because he's getting attached this is not like one two days on the road this is three months you see from henry's time to now this three months has passed so they get they bond a lot um on the road and he's getting attached and he knows that tommy is young able he's got a good settlement he's got a good repo with these people he will be able to better take care of ellie than joel would and joel would just be on his way because he would be you know he would not be in the good graces of maria because he's trying they're trying to keep this a secret but still so when we sort of put that out like ellie doesn't know that joel is not going to take her but then ellie understands that there is a commotion between maria and and uh, tommy because tommy is going to go out of his way to take this kid to the fireflies and maria is not happy with that but maria doesn't know the reason for it and everything and ellie just runs off because she's like this is insane like she's just a kid and she's venting out like teenage issues you can say she vents out and then you know through that you have this gameplay this dialogue you go through raiders kill some raiders she's in this house you see the horse there and then she gets up and you they get up and then you see her and the, the setup of the room is exactly the same where she's sitting exactly the same the outfit she's wearing exactly the same but here you see in this episode that she's finding out because she eavesdrops into Tommy and Joel's uh, conversation, which is not not the case in the game. But it just makes so much sense for her to be within the vicinity and vent out her feelings. And the, the dialogue is also the same. Um, and then she immediately like, bam, speaks about Sarah, which was like, whoa, whoa, you're like... There's this one dialogue which I really love of Joe, which was not mentioned, but I will let you know. But it's called when she says that um, Maria told me about Sarah and then he's talking to Ellie. You're dreading on some mad ass here and all that. And I'm like, wow, that is deep, mighty thin ice here. And then after that, you hear Ellie saying, I'm sorry about your daughter, Joe, but I've lost people too. And then he says, you have no idea what loss is sorry it's coming in that accent weirdly i don't even know if the accent is right but it's coming in that way um and then you see the rest like everyone i have cared for has either died or left me everyone fucking except for you so don't tell me i'll be safer with someone else because the truth is i'll just be more scared then he says you're right you're not my daughter and I sure as hell ain't your dad. And I'm like, and then she's and he's like, and we're going our separate ways. So the edition has come dawn. We're going our separate ways, which is a very good edition. And then, you know, you again, Raiders come in, so you go into gameplay mode, and then there they you you get through that, and then you have that horse ride back to Jackson, and it's really awkward. And then you're seeing the horizon over Jackson, and then the thing the thing that really was amazing is that tommy when when the three of them are overlooking jackson they are saying um tommy says that you know kids will be watching movies tonight and they're watching kids are watching movies tonight and it's such a nice play to that and i just love that because 
that is how you know that they're not really drifting off but they're take, telling the story in their own way but staying true to many certain moments which I oh god I cannot get enough and I really wish I could scream my lungs out because it's too quiet and I feel like I'm gonna wake someone up and I hate that I really want to like scream and vent because I am in <laughs> I love it but so anyway, um, this was amazing. I really love the fact that they are tapping into Joel's fear. And then you see Sarah and then Sarah's having another Sarah type. Oh, because when you see 20 years later, she could have met someone in that time frame. She could have, he could have had a grandchild, a mini Sarah, boy or girl. That is, that hits deep, whoa. And that entire thing about, you know, that where we see them being raided, like not raided, but Maria's people come around, surround them, the dog sniffing. Oh. And then Joel talking about that oh, to Tommy. Oh. And there is a dog in their settlement. That dog is the same dog that we see in part two. Part one, I think it's the same breed, but whatever. There is a dog in both games. And in the settlement, the dog is right next to the composer whose face model is there in the game. That's Gustavo playing the banjo, uh, who's the composer for The Last of Us, you know, the 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 Oscar, the every single goddamn award, the Universal Award for the best music, Mr. Gustavo. That is there in the game in and that dog is also literally the same. I assume it's the same breed because they have the same sort of physique almost um but yeah there you go um i'm gonna end this right here guys i cannot tell you how much i love this episode me not being so vocal doesn't mean that i'm not you guys i freaking loved it now that we know this is the end how the end has happened the end is completely different how they how um everything unravels joe falls off this um this balcony almost balcony i think fighting uh, a raider and then falls onto a i think it's like i don't know if it's it's like that you know those things that hold a building like construction work a pole not i don't know if it's a pole like it's a metal not bar it's not even metal it's like that rustic thing spirally thing so he falls into that and he he's he gets stabbed in that exact same position but not being stabbed by someone he falls onto it so but it's the same concept why he removed it because he got stabbed that way i don't understand because from understand i'm not no medical expert at all in the slightest but i know that if you have been if you've been stabbed in any way by a, a very sharp object you shouldn't remove it because that's the only thing that's keeping the blood together or you know keeping holding pressure because if you move it, you're splurting out and everything's gonna, you're gonna like literally pass out. So I don't know why he does that, but okay, fine, whatever. But then you go into gameplay and then you're trying to, so Ellie's trying to like navigate. He's like, uh, uh, Joel is like literally like snapping out, snapping and he's not able to walk. He's bleeding and then he's trying, she's trying to kill people. Oh God, it's just, it's just so true. And then they get the horse, Joel falls off the horse and then, that ending where she's crying off chef's kiss because when Ellie is trying to like because she's a small tiny girl he's a freaking grown man with that full vest or full outfit that he has he he would be more heavier how would anyone in that situation react and then she says you got to tell me what you, what to do you got to get up Joel my god my god my god i don't know how exactly but i have a feeling that the next episode is going to be what happens i don't want to spoil oh god i so want to spoil but i don't want to spoil but i know what happens or at least i think that's what's going to happen or show in the episode because it's an episode version so pretty sure we are, i know where the route they're going uh, with the next episode episode seven it's going to be a flashback that's for sure so mm -mm. flashback for ellie i mean there you go i mean it's not really that 
I guess it's a spoiler. I don't know, but it's I, I don't know. I don't know where to what's a spoiler anymore. But there you go, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in episode seven. I loved it. To the last of us, as always, brilliant, it's top notch. Take care, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please um, show some love. I hope you all are enjoying these seri this series. It's episode six. We're, all, we're literally halfway there. I will definitely ball my eyes out for the finale, but I am so glad that there is a series like this because it's so true to the game and I just enjoy every moment of it. So thank you so much guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!